The spice mix is fantastic. You could you could sell that, no problem. Six amateur cooks are sharpening their knives and preparing to head into battle. It's a culinary clash where only three will survive in Britain's best dish. On the menu today, two spicy starters hoping to charm their way into the judges' hearts. Jerk chicken with an avocado salad takes on spinach dal with naan bread. It's Michael Robinson with his jerk chicken. Me for saying it, but it is the Spice Boys in the starter kitchen. It's Jamaica versus India. Gentlemen, time to start cooking. I'm Michael Robinson, and I'm cooking jerk chicken with the avocado salad and a chili and lime sauce. Jerk chicken is a Caribbean dish mostly cooked in Jamaica, and it's a, a marinated chicken which is basically cooked on an open fire. Jerk seasonings normally consist of about four elements. Mine has about 10 or 11. My jerk seasoning is definitely my secret weapon and the greatest thing about it is the taste. Plain and simple, you won't get another taste like it. A place in Friday's regional final awaits the winner of this one. So let's find out how Michael and Ian are getting on. And Michael, your jerk chicken. Yes. Tell me all about it. I've been working on it for like two and a half years. So you've been perfecting it, have you? I absolutely have, I really have, yeah. What would you do if you won? I would like to do something with the seasoning, maybe um, get it into production or have my own sort of uh, Caribbean takeaway where I could make jerk chicken a speciality or something along those lines, you know. Michael's jerk chicken. Yeah. It's got a ring to it. Good luck with it. Thanks. Michael, a telesales manager from Birmingham, is having to rethink the cooking of his dish today. To be honest, normally I would like to cook this on an open fire, on a barbecue. Um, but I have worked on cooking it the way that I'm going to cook it today, so I can do it. It's just not the best way to do it. Michael's first call is to make his secret weapon, his jerk seasoning. He blitzes spring onion, then chops scotch bonnet peppers and bird's eye chilies for a Caribbean kick. I love these, both these starters. They're the same, only very different. The same sort of spice mix going in both. But Michael there, with his jerk chicken, has got lots of hot scotch bonnet chilli, very, very hot. But it'll be a lovely little sort of taste bud tickling tempter, I think. Michael blitzes his jerk ingredients to form a paste that he then pours over his chicken, which ideally he would leave to marinade overnight. The reason it's actually called jerk chicken is the way you cook it is in a jerk, which is basically an oil barrel, sawn in half, a couple of hinges, and you bring the lid over it and then you've got that wood that smokes it right up so not only are you barbecuing it you're infusing it with the lovely smoky wood for that barbecue look and taste michael moves his chicken to the top of the grill to catch the full heat michael's not used to doing this dish without a barbecue actually so he's um just adapted his technique and guess what it's That's gonna work fierce, though, isn't it the grill you've got to keep work. an eye on it though. Work. now how are you getting on um okay only okay only okay why just a tiny little bit concerned about time, and to be honest, this is not uh, the best way for me to cook this dish. You normally barbecue this, don't you? Yeah, I'd cook it on an open flame, just whack it on a flame mill. And what's the problem with the grill? It's just a bit... trying to get the balance, because you want to get it blackened, yeah. but without burning it. And this salad looks gorgeous. It's really simple. It's the colour that I like. Fantastic. Start plating up. So will Michael's jerk chicken with avocado salad and chilli salsa pack a Jamaican punch? Well, the start cooks have done all they can and now it is over to the judges. And let's start with Michael's jerk chicken. Are you ready to start the ball rolling? I certainly am. I love this sort of food, Michael. It's really gorgeous. Smells delicious, looks delicious. You get the fire in your jerk chicken on the outer crust, which you achieve very well with the grill. I know you're very proud of your spice mix, and I think you have every reason to be. It's lovely because it comes in different layers, and I think it's lovely and a sort of dish I absolutely adore. 
edge. Yeah, I think Michael's really composed this dish perfectly, the, the balance of flavours. I've started off with the chicken, and I was initially a bit disappointed. I thought, it's not very spicy, there's not enough spice in there, but then, of course, it, it creeps up in layers, and it's just a well-thought-out dish, and it's been very, very well executed. Sean, what do you reckon? I reckon it should have a beach in Barbados, <laughs> and I'd be happy. The only thing I would say is uh, I like more crust on the chicken. So it's almost burnt. It's got to be smoky first, mm. then it's spiced, then it's the soft chicken underneath. Other than that, I think it's fabulous. Is it down to the lack of the naked flame, do you think, Michael? I think so, yeah. If I could have just literally burnt it, I would have got the right effect, definitely. So really, if we'd actually taken the whole programme onto a beach, given you your, your wood oh, heaven. fire, <laughs> they'd have been yeah. happy, you'd have been yeah. happy, I'd have been beers, absolutely yeah. ecstatic. Right, well, I'm sorry. We let you down. Oh, my God, <laughs> that was amazing. I didn't cook it as well as I cooked it in my house. I know that. I know I can cook it better, but I did get the flavours in there. Versus Michael Robinson at his jerk chicken with an avocado salad. Michael's jerk seasoning packed a Jamaican punch in the heats, so his focus today is purely on the cooking technique. Big question mark over um, what Michael's doing here. When you do a jerk chicken on a barbecue, the idea is you get the smoke into it, but also the barbecue's got a lid on it, so it creates an oven effect. And I think the best thing to do is whack the oven up, and it'll be a much more succulent, better way of doing it. To try and avoid a grilling of his own, Michael turns up the heat to get his chicken finger looking good. Hello again, welcome back to Britain's Best Dish and our Midlands Regional Final. We have a pretty intense battle, really, on our hands in the starter kitchen with Penny's ham hock and pea velouté up against Michael's jerk chicken for a place in the national finals. Now, Hi. the big controversy is... Yes. Is your chicken burnt or not? No, not too much. OK. Good. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, no, I don't mean to make no, you all not. worried about it. No, it's not. Yeah. It'll be in the taste in a moment. Of course it will. Or will Michael's jerk chicken with an avocado salad be a taste sensation to remember? Michael's jerk chicken. John, do you want to start this time? The jerk chicken fanatic, aren't yes. you? <clears throat> well, Michael, you brought this to us um, last time round, and I thought it was delicious. I love, I love this, I, the idea of this. Um, it's one of my favourite dishes, actually. Ed? The spice mix is fantastic. You could, you could sell that, no problem. Because mm. it's got beautiful flavours there. Longer in the oven, a little bit less under the grill. Spot on, though. Jilly, what did you think? It seems spicier than last time, actually, Michael. Okay. I'm sure that your jerk chicken is more or less the same, but what I did was think, whoa, that's quite strong. And I went to try and hide with your little salsa here. There's no hiding there. It's a bit fire that in there is too. much fireier, fireier still. Okay. Mouth on fire and then into your salad. But I love the flavours. I think it's really, really beautifully done. 